Welcome home to the DC-6 Airplane House here at the Flight Mike Alpha Pilot Lodge in Big Lake, Alaska. We'll go ahead and tell Alexa we're home so she can turn the lights on for us. So as we come in here to the Arctic entry, mud room, cargo room, whatever you want to call it, we have a full size washer and dryer here, a little cabinet to put a few uh, essentials in. You've got the original cargo doors of the airplane that are open up inside of this room. And then of course, one of my favorite parts, the whale baleen up on the wall for my humpback whale. Uh, very Alaskan little touch there. So you first enter in here, all heated floors, keeps your toes nice and warm, keeps the floor dry in the winter from all that snow and stuff building up. And the first thing that we really have here is the hallway that leads to our second bedroom. And so the second bedroom is for your guests, for uh, if you have an extra few friends that wanna stay with you, easily sleeps two in here. A uh, nice little plug over there to charge your cell phone and, and recharge yourself in here. Uh, fairly small bedroom, but very good for guests. Coming through here into the hallway, thermostat to control the in-floor heat, regular size refrigerator for, uh, for everything that you need. If you're looking to do some serious cooking, you actually can here. Uh, we've got their fridge, the freezer, a uh, nice little microwave up here. Of course, the official welcome aboard sign. Your name goes there. You actually have to book it to actually uh, have your name there. Uh, regular size kitchen sink. Uh, no dishwasher in here. People always say like, man, you should really add a dishwasher. And if you can think of why we don't have a dishwasher in here, there's a very specific reason why. Leave your guesses in the comments below. Whoever uh, gets it right might get a keychain or a sticker or something. Uh, seating for six inside here. So our dining room table seating for six, and then our sofa bed in the living room. Uh, sofa bed pulls out so you can sleep a few extra guests in here. The airplane is a two bedroom, one bath designed to sleep six guests in total. One of my favorite features is the coffee table here in the living room. Um, that is actually a real tire off of a 727 that has flown around the world and is now here inside of our DC-6. And then of course your first class seating. Uh, the massage chair up here. One of the coolest aspects of the airplane, as always, would be the cockpit. And so as we come in here into the cockpit, you have your beer slash coffee station, your bottle opener here on the wall. And you know, I mean, it's kind of early, but it's never too early for a beer in the cockpit. So feel free to help yourself. There it goes probably pick that up if, if you are staying here I'd appreciate it and uh, yeah this is one of your only chances to have a beer in the cockpit of an airplane uh, we've got the flight controls from the aircraft and our plan up here in the cockpit is to set up a full flight simulator that's what those electrical outlets are about up there so we can plug in some monitors and connect these flight controls to Microsoft flight simulator so you can fly the actual DC-6 as you would is if you're flying the real airplane so this will be a full functioning flight sim if you've got any ideas on how to do that, certainly let us know. Pardon me, this is really good beer, by the way. The airplane does come stocked with Alaskan beer. Uh, we've got uh, Alaskan Amber, IPA, White, and a few others, depending on what kind of flavors you like. Uh, nice little Keurig Ninja thing. It's got a little frother thing, something on here. I'm not a coffee person, so I really don't know. I just stick with the beer. Um, coming back into here, if you do have kids, it is kid friendly. We do have a high chair and a pack and play, so you don't have to bring that stuff aboard or uh, be gate checking it when you stay with us. This right here is a cargo door. So this is the forward cargo door. It is a fully functioning cargo door. A little chilly here in October in Alaska, so we have it closed right now, but it's super nice to open that up to the mountain view outside there when you're sitting here in the summer. The original hydraulics and everything are still here. The original handle that actually opens the, uh, the locks at the bottom here uh, to actuate the door. 
and uh, of course your, your open and close switch right here, and a little bit of the plumbing that makes it all work. Uh, coming back in here, you've got to have the TV for the living room, and uh, of course, you know, if you've got a TV inside of your airplane house, you've got to be watching the Flight Mike Alpha videos on the YouTube. Coming back over here, this is a really nice area. Uh, even on a day like today in October, it's sunny, it's nice out there. These are the doors to your wing deck. So if you're doing some cooking in the kitchen, you wanna let in a little fresh air, or if you wanna come outside and cook on the propane grill out here, certainly an option. We have uh, patio furniture out here to enjoy the uh, sunshine. And then an addition that we're gonna be working on that's not quite done just yet, but we will have for next summer. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys to guess what's gonna go out through here. I'm not gonna spoil it, but that's what the comments below are for. What is this gonna lead to out on the wingtip? If you guys have been following us on Instagram and Facebook with the build updates, then you would already know this, but we'll have a little walkway here out to a very special feature out there on the wingtip. Uh, for when you guys are staying here and you want to really soak in the outdoors. There's your hint. To get this thing here, we had to cut the wings off, break them into several sections. They do unbolt at some places. Towards the center of the airplane, we actually had to run through with saws and break the wings off of the airplane, load those wings onto separate trailers, and then move the fuselage as one gigantic piece on a very extended 93 foot long trailer with quite a bit of overhang on the front and overhang on the back there. If you're interested in even more detail about how this airplane got disassembled, taken apart up in Fairbanks with two people over the course of four days, we've got those videos on YouTube already. The links are in the description below to how we cut the wings off this airplane and moved it down to our property down here in Big Lake, Alaska. Now coming back into the airplane, we'll take a look at the aft section. The aft section uh, has our bathroom as well as our master bedroom. So the bathroom, we were really trying to make it comfortable and not, uh, not an airplane toilet, essentially. So regular old flush toilet, normal sized stuff, uh, nice 36 inch vanity, heated towel bar because you can't have cold towels in an airplane, you can't have cold feet, that's why we got in floor heat, you can't have cold towels either. And uh, yeah, overall came out very nice and the big key that we really wanted to have was a tiled shower. A little tricky with the curved walls, but I think we pulled it off pretty nicely here. And then finally, in the very aft section of the airplane, we have our master bedroom. Master bedroom has a full king size bed. The second bedroom, the guest bedroom, is a queen size bed, sleeping two. This, uh, well, sleeps as many friends as you want to cram in here, but nice full size king bed. And then, as far as all the mechanical stuff, everything that makes the airplane work and run, that is right behind here in the aft uh, pressure dome of the airplane or behind the pressure dome. This is where a lot of the mechanical was originally when the airplane was flying. And so we still have that same, uh, same idea with our HRV system, our pressure tank, our boiler for the in-floor heat, our hot water heater that runs off of propane, all on a battery backup system. So if anything does happen, like if the power were to go out, we can actually keep all the heat and everything running in here because pipes freezing inside of an airplane would be a bad deal. This airplane will be open and running all winter long. We have already had guests staying here with us. We've had some students staying in here. We've had some Airbnb guests staying in here. And it's, uh, it's super exciting to be able to share it with people and uh, see people being able to use the space and really, uh, Overall, this thing came out a lot better than I had expected with the shiplap on the walls curving to it, the uh, the pine on the ceiling, the tongue and groove everywhere. You know, overall, to, to create the space, I certainly had an idea of what we wanted to go with or what we wanted to have when it was all said and done. But quite frankly, it came out way better than I could have expected. Uh, it was no plans, no architectural drawings no renderings, nothing like that. It was just simply, hey, we wanna put two bedrooms in here. We wanna make the space flow nicely. We want a regular sized bathroom. We want a nice big kitchen for people who wanna come here and cook. We definitely want a deck on the wing. And as we continue to build, we just kept having more and more ideas and capitalizing on that. And it's kind of the same thing as we work on our DC-9 airplane house and the 727, that is right. There's two more coming because uh, clearly we have a problem. One airplane house is never enough, so two more in the works. Stay tuned for all those updates. Overall, if you guys have questions on this, leave them in the comments below. Any ideas of what we should add or any cool features that would be nice to include, certainly let us know what you think. 
And as always, we appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe so you can keep updated with all the latest things happening here at the Flight Mike Alpha Pilot Lodge, the 727 airplane house, the DC-9 airplane house, the new runway, the control tower, all that stuff happening that we've been working on summer of 2023 that'll continue and be live summer 2024. If you guys want to stay here and come visit us this winter in 2023 or summer of 24, definitely let us know. We'd love to have you here enjoying this space, doing some flight training with us, flying around Alaska in our Super Cub, Cessna 170, 172, 206, all the different airplanes we have here on site for you guys. As always, if you cannot fly every day, fly at MikeAlpha.com. And if you can't fly every day, sleeping inside an airplane house sounds pretty cool too.